Hello everyone, how's it going? Macman here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an application called Fontcase. Fontcase is available for $29.99 in the Mac App Store, but you can also download a free trial from the developer's website, which will be in the description below. So anyways guys, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to open up Fontcase right here, and this application pretty much allows you to view all of your fonts. As you can see here on this left panel, we can view every single font that we have stored on our computer. A nice thing about this is it gives you a little example of what the font looks like. And if we scroll our cursor over it, we can view the family of the bold, italic, bold, italic, and normal font style. A very nice thing about this is let's say we want to see a font and see what it looks like with a certain text. We can simply select a font, go to the display tab on the right panel, and then select this drop down box and we can type in anything we like, such as example. And as you can see, we can see the font in that same text. Now this application can be very useful if you're doing a project and you want to find a specific font for the project that suits it very well. Now I'm going to be going into collections. Now collections is very good if we're doing a project and we have multiple fonts for the project. We can simply add a collection and have all of the fonts of the project into a small collection. So I'm going to show you an example here and I'm going to drag this font onto the collections tab and it's going to give me some two options. We can either add it to a previous collection, we can also make a new collection which is what I'm going to select. We can then name the collection, I'm going to just write example, uh, I spelt that wrong, excuse me, and then we have our collection. We can also add multiple fonts to the collection, so I'll add another one, and it will give me that collection that we just made, which is the example one. Now, if we go into the collections and click on example, we can view the two fonts that we added to this collection. So that is very nice if we want to do a project and we have multiple fonts for the project. Then we have genres. I'm not really going to be getting into that. And after that, we have tags. Tags can be very, very, very useful. Now, let's say we have a font that we really like to use and we just want to remember the name we can add it to tag and create a new tag then we can add tags so let's say i want this to be um for xi macman ix i'll hit enter and now if we go to the search tab and type in xi macman ix that font will pop up um, since we added a tag to it so that can be very useful if we're looking um, for specific fonts that we know but we forget the name we can easily add tags to it so that's pretty much it for the application font case i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to rate comment subscribe also don't forget to check me out on twitter and i'll see you guys in the next video peace